No, I do. I have to say, I do think that you naturally fall into the kind of people that you are, and like, yeah. I like, I do like to spend. So I do like being the person who can control because I know what there is to spend. Yeah. But I do also like to know the nitty gritty as well. But at the same time, I kind of feel I don't really need to know that. So if I needed to, then I would go and find out. But because I don't need to, I've got so much kind of going on elsewhere in life that I just think, well, because I don't need to know that, I can leave that to Bobby and I know it's okay because I, I trust him to be able to look after that side of things. And he's good at it. So I want to take advantage of the fact that he's good at it really. And does he deal with all the mortgage and everything yeah. to do with the finances everything. completely? Like, I don't even look at my payslip. I can't remember the last time I looked at a payslip. But just because, really? Yeah, because I, I don't need to. But I, I like it that way. And he probably wouldn't want to go out shopping and <coughs> buy new clothes or um, you know, go out and choose a buggy for Layla, for example. So I'll go out and do that. So it's just whatever each of us prefers more, really. I don't know. I, I wouldn't go out and buy something and spend whatever, £400, without him being okay with it. Not to say that Bobby isn't okay with it, but I don't know, it just seems to me like good manners to kind of say, is it all right to have any other plans for this money before I go out and spend it? So he might have been like that about a buggy, but what would it have been like with a car? Would that have been any different, do you think? I think he's not interested in, in kind of I suppose I'm quite avaricious, aren't I? <laughs> That's what it is. I like things with... Yeah, he's no, he wouldn't be. So he'd be it's, happy for it's you to It's just a vehicle out. to get from A to B. He'd be happy for you to choose one and yeah, do I the think whole. Yeah, he would. In fact, I think I have chosen all of our family cars. I've chosen, really? and his car, he just drives into the ground, and then when it's time to get a new one, he'll just say, oh, "I just went to the garage and got that one because it was the right kind of price." And he's not interested in. It doesn't have to be flashing, whirly, twirly. See, Lee's not bothered about <coughs> it being kind of flashy or anything, but when we go and buy a new car, I know I'm going to be relying on his input more for that than I am for other things, because it's such a big amount of money, and because I know nothing about cars, really. Neither does <laughs> Richard. <laughs> Maybe that's why. <laughs> Lee doesn't either. <laughs> but, but I feel like he should have more say in that, even though it's the car that I'm going to be driving, and it's the one that I'm going to drive the children around in, it's going to be the main car and it'll be the one that we use for long journeys and everything like that, I'm going to want his input more into that than I would into, say, the buggy. Really? Yeah. Maybe I'm just because it's because I think probably because just of the amount of money it is. But I think you've almost hit the nail on the head there where you say that that's more of his expertise. So with the finances, that's more yeah. of Bobby's expertise. So that's why I would leave it to him because he's good at that. Whereas um, like with a car, whilst normally I would go out and choose purchases because I'd want to choose it because he knows more about cars than I do, I'd want his input on that. So I'd want him to come with me and yeah. do the sort of shopping side of it. Whereas normally with everyday goods, it'd be more me choosing. Whereas with yeah. that, I would want him to do that. So I think it almost, it just falls into whose expertise lies where. Really. So Richard doesn't really know anything about cars other than he drives them. So it would be down to me, Richard wouldn't get on a computer and look at, you know, for a family car, what has the most space, the most seats, to look. whereas I will sit and, and do that and work out. So I'll go to him and go, look, I've seen this car, I've looked into it, this goes from a five-seater to a seven-seater. Yeah. See, look. I do all what that, do you think? and I'm the one that's been looking on, like, various websites for different prices of cars and what, what does what. But when it comes down to the crunch of saying, are we having that one? I'll need him to say, yeah, all right then. Really? Yeah. yeah. That, that might be down to my <clears throat> confidence levels as well. But I just, I wouldn't want the responsibility of spending that large an amount of money. And then if it all goes wrong, it's all my fault. 